Hey everyone and welcome to my channel, The Reader Teacher. My name's Scott. In this video I'll be sharing my festive favourites, my most anticipated children's books coming out this year for Christmas. I'll be going through them alphabetically by title, but if you just want to hear about a specific book, then make sure to use the timestamps in the description box below. Don't forget to leave me a like, hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. And let me know in the comments below which of the books you like the look of, and all the links to the books that I mentioned in this video will also be in the description below. So let's take a look at the books. First up is An Odd Dog Christmas by Rob Biddulph. Now you'll probably know Rob Biddulph from being the genius behind the hashtag Draw With Rob phenomenon, as well as his best selling and award winning picture books like Blown Away and Odd Dog Out. In this one it's Christmas, and this odd dog is running out of time to find the perfect present for her pal. But when she meets a new friend who needs help, she realises that gifts might not be the most important thing about Christmas after all. Thanks HarperCollins for sending me a finished copy of this fabulously festive tale of friendship that celebrates the real meaning of Christmas. Next is the Christmas Saurus Picture Book by Tom Fletcher and Shane Devries, who have reinvented and reimagined their best-selling story, The Christmas Saurus, into this rhyming picture book adventure for younger readers to enjoy. If you've read the novel, you'll already know Santa and his reindeer live as north as you can go, in a place that's full of magic and quite a lot of snow. But Santa and his reindeer do not live there on their own, for there's a special dinosaur that also calls it home. In this one, the world of the Christmas Saurus can be seen for the first time in full colour as the Christmas Saurus falls down a chimney and meets a dinosaur obsessed little boy who teaches him the magic of believing. So thanks, Puffin, for sending me a gorgeous finished copy. Also out this Christmas from Tom Fletcher and Shane Devries is the Christmas Saurus and the Naughty List. You know about the naughty and nice list, right? Santa's top secret tracker that he always checks twice? Well, this year our favourite festive dinosaur is back in its third adventure and on a mission to track down mischievous children who have found themselves on the naughty list to help them put their wrongs to rights and turn naughty into nice by learning the error of their ways and the true spirit of Christmas. Big thanks Puffin for the golden finished copy. I can see this being on many readers' Christmas lists this year. Meet the world's most Christmassy family in The Christmas Carols by Mel Taylor Besson and Salon Sunu. Wish it could be Christmas every day? Well, it is for nine-year-old Holly Carroll and her very festive family who just love everything about it. Moving into their dream house in Sleigh Ride Avenue, complete with year-round fairy lights, Christmas trees, a carol singing toilet and a diva donkey who thinks he's a reindeer, Homeschooled Holly has to start at the local primary school, and it's here where her classmates do not know what to make of the good cheer that she spreads all year. And she suffers losing her Christmas spirit, especially when the neighbours try to remove the carols from the street. Can Holly restore the Christmas feeling to the community before it's too late? Thanks, Farshaw, for the finished coffee. In the Christmas department store by Mordi Powell Tuck and Hoang Jian, Christmas for Benji has lost its magic. This year, his family can't afford gifts, a tree, or even a turkey, leaving everyone feeling a little sad. But that all changes for him when passing the people out doing their Christmas shopping, he stumbles upon the most extraordinary department store, where polar bears talk and the presents are out of this world. Inside is filled with more awe and wonder, as Christmas trees reach the ceiling, spiralling steam trains are boarded to browse the shop, and presents are bought with the singing of silly songs, meaning that Benji's Christmas can be magical after all. Thanks, Little Tiger, for the finished coffee. Based on a true story and originally written as a poem, The Christmas Pine by Julia Donaldson and Victoria Sandoy is the perfect picture book to snuggle up with and share this Christmas. Every year, a Christmas tree is given by Norway to the UK to thank us for sheltering their king during the Second World War. The tree is decorated with lights and stands in London's Trafalgar Square. Telling the story of the tree's life in its own words, Julia's rhyme is a joy to read aloud with Victoria's beautiful illustrations as we follow the tree's journey from the snowy woods to the sparkling city square. Huge thanks, Scholastic, for the beautiful finished copy. In Clara Claus Saves Christmas by Bonnie Bridgman and Louise Forshaw, it's down to Clara and her slightly annoying brother Nick to save Christmas, as first the reindeer gets sick seven days before Christmas Eve. And then, her father, Santa, gets sick too. Could Christmas be cancelled? 
With toys to make, elves to manage, lists to sort and flying reindeer to train, can they get everything done, summon enough spirit to save Christmas and deliver the perfect day without leaving anyone disappointed? Thanks Tiny Tree for sending me a finished copy. From former children's laureate Lauren Child comes another beloved Clarice Bean adventure in this beautiful gift book, Think Like an Owl. In this one, Clarice usually looks forward to Christmas. However, this year, it is going to be a quiet-ish Christmas in her house, which doesn't feel right at all because Christmas is all about noisiness and being full up and family. Because for Clarice, Christmas cannot be Christmas without the Christmas spirit, and she's going to keep an eye on it to make sure that it doesn't float away. Celebrating all the feelings of childhood at Christmas, this brightly illustrated book is one that should be under the tree of every reader. Big thanks to HarperCollins for sending me a signed hardback finished copy. If you've read The Night I Met Father Christmas by Ben Miller, then you'll be delighted to hear that another Christmas caper is on the way from him, with Diary of a Christmas Elf. All Tog wants to do is work in Santa's workshop, and one wonderful day, the letter from Santa arrives. Tog has been selected as an apprentice elf, but making toys is a lot more technical and a lot less fun than Tog had imagined. And even though his new friend Holly tries to help him, he's quickly relegated to cleaning out the reindeer stables. But someone has been stealing the presents from the workshop, and a case of mistaken identity finds Tog accused of being the culprit. Can Tog use his special Christmas magic to clear his name, discover the real thief, and save all the presents before Christmas Eve is over? Thanks Simon & Schuster for the finished copy. Out in paperback this year is The Good Beer by Sarah Lean and Fiona Woodcock. It's the Christmas holidays and Thea is looking forward to spending them with her father in snowy Norway. But when Thea arrives, everything feels... wrong. Her father is as distant as ever and now she has to share him with his new family. Leaving the house one day, she makes a surprising discovery. Deep in the snowy woods by the house is a bear. He's scared and hungry and he desperately needs Thea's help especially when the town hears about him, and it's up to Thea to show everyone that he's not dangerous, he's a good bear, if she's to save him. But to do this, she needs to also accept the help of her new family. Thanks Simon & Schuster for sending me a beautiful finished copy of this wintry adventure. Grace and the Christmas Angel is a beautiful new Christmas book from best-selling author Lucinda Riley, her son Harry Whitaker, and illustrated by Jane Ray. It's Christmas Eve, the tree is decorated, the presents are wrapped, and it's a big day for Grace. Grace and her little brother are getting ready to perform in a special Christmas Eve nativity at her school. She's nervous because she will be singing a Christmas carol all on her own, but her mother reassures her that her fisherman father has promised to be back in time to watch her, and when she sees him there, she will forget about everybody else looking at her. But when a storm blows up at sea, Grace walks out on stage to find Daddy is not there. She's very worried. But luckily, Grace has someone else watching over her. We'll hope the Christmas angel will be able to help Daddy get home safely for Christmas morning. Thanks Macmillan for the beautiful finished copy. Written by Lad Baby, the social media stars and consecutive Christmas number one hit makers for three years running, comes Greg the Sausage Roll, Santa's Little Helper, by Mark and Roxanne Hoyle and illustrated by Gareth Conway. It's Christmas Eve in the bakery and Greg the Sausage Roll is so excited he could burst. So when he's scooped up as a last minute treat for Santa, he finds himself on a festive fairy tale adventure beyond his wildest dreams, including a trip aboard Santa's sleigh and delivering presents aplenty. Full of festive fun, this book will provide lots of laugh out loud moments and show that sausage rolls are for life, not just for Christmas. Thanks Puffin for the finished copy. It's been three years since we first met Winston, so I'm delighted to see another adventure for him in the sequel to the much-loved How Winston Delivered Christmas with How Winston Came Home for Christmas by Alex T. Smith being published this year. In this one, it's five days until Christmas and Winston has a very curious mystery to solve. He has hazy remembrance of another mouse and he just knows that someone very important to him is lost. After promising Oliver that he will be back in time for Christmas no matter what, Winston sets out on an exciting round-the-world adventure to find the missing mouse, helped along the way by wonderful old friends and delightful new ones too. Written again in 24 and a half chapters, one to read every day of December in the lead-up to Christmas, and with a festive activity for all the family to enjoy together, 
These books will surely become a classic part of your Christmas traditions each and every year. Thanks Macmillan for sending me a stunning finished copy. It's Christmas Eve in Jingle Smells by Mark Sperrin and Sophie Corrigan, and Jingle the little skunk can't wait to see all the twinkly fairy lights. But as he skips into town, his terrible whiffy stink causes all sorts of trouble. And when the Christmas tree in the town square falls to the ground, poor Jingle is convinced he's ruined Christmas. But when Santa himself is captured by a gang of wicked robbers, it's up to our stinky hero to save the day. Can his Jingle Smells actually save Christmas for everyone? Thanks Bloomsbury for sending me a hardback finished copy. Also out in paperback this year is The Miracle on Ebenezer Street by Catherine Doyle. Inspired by Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, this one tells the story of 10-year-old George who lives in London with his father and grandmother. He's just like any other child who loves Christmas. But George's dad doesn't celebrate Christmas. He won't speak about it in the house, he refuses to decorate, and he works on Christmas. It's safe to say that he's become a bit of a Scrooge about it. All because three years ago, George's mum died on Christmas Eve. Lucky for him, his grandmother still wants George to have lots of merry memories. So she takes him to a Christmas fair, and it is here that George stumbles across Marley's Curiosity Shop, where he's gifted a snow globe that sweeps George and his dad up on an adventure to Christmas's past, present and future. Thanks Puffin for the finished copy. Alongside the release of the film of A Boy Called Christmas this year, comes an epic new adventure for one of its characters, in A Mouse Called Mika, by Matt Haig and Chris Mould. If you've read A Boy Called Christmas, you might remember that when Nicholas left the only home he had ever known, it was a mouse named Mika who kept him company, and it was Mika who accompanied him on his journey to the far north in search of his father. But before the events of A Boy Called Christmas, this little mouse was the hero of his own story. Living with elves and trolls and pixies can make a mouse feel like the odd one out. After feeling fed up with the other mice, he sets out on a quest of his own to prove that cheese exists and learns to appreciate other creatures as well as a whole host of other things along the way for this teeny tiny hero. Thanks Canongate Books for the hardback finished copy. Travel back in time to Georgian London and discover the magic of the real Thameside Frostbeard in A Night at the Frostfear by Emma Carroll and Sam Usher. Originally written as a short story in the Winter Magic Anthology and now adapted into this gorgeous gift book, we meet Maya, who finds herself transported back 200 years to the banks of the frozen river Thames that actually happened in history, where she becomes friends with a boy called Eddie who shows her the hustle and bustle of the glittering Frostfear, filled with music, sweet stalls and thrilling rides. Thinking that this all might be a dream, can Maya bring a piece of the beautiful Frostfear home with her after all? Thanks Simon & Schuster for the hardback finished copy. Robin Robin by Dan Ajari, Mikey Please and illustrated by Bryony e. May Smith is the heartwarming picture book adaptation of Aardman's festive film created for Netflix, told by the film's co-authors and directors. When her egg rolls into a rubbish dump, Robin is discovered and raised by a loving family of mice. As she grows up, her differences become more apparent, and she's left wishing that she was a real mouse. Determined as she is, she sets off on a journey to find her own way to succeed, and as a result learns that she can be true to her own bird self, as well as a loving member of the family. I'm sure that the book and film will be a firm favourite of families everywhere. Thanks Macmillan for the finished copy. What would you do if Santa put you on his naughty list? Well, that's what happens for the two characters, Ashling and Joe, in The Santa List by Kieran Crowley, when they antagonise their tough new babysitter and she writes to Santa, asking for them to be denied their Christmas gifts. Faced with the prospect of no presents this year, they take drastic action and seek help, even from the school bully, who seems to get presents no matter how badly they behave. But when this leads to them stealing Santa's list, have they actually just ruined Christmas for everyone? Thanks Scholastic for the finished copy. When a little boy is told that elves aren't real and there's no such thing as elves by Lucy Rowland and Katie Halford, he doesn't believe it for a second. Surely elves exist? After all, they're always in Christmas books and films. Setting out to search for them and to prove that he's right, he realises he might need more than a Christmas miracle. From looking through the cupboards, asking the reindeer at the school fete, and even speaking to Santa, 
it seems that this search will not provide the proof that's needed. Until, one evening when there's a frost in the air, the snowflakes start to sparkle, and something, or should I say someone, appears. Thanks Scholastic for the finished coffee. Another one out in paperback this year is Tinsel, The Girls Who Invented Christmas by Shabeel Pounder. What if somewhere along the way we've all got the Santa story a bit wrong, and that Santa being a man is more than a bit of a misunderstanding? And this one follows Blanche Claus, an orphan. Living on the streets of London is a sad and lonely place, but everything changes for Blanche when an old lady presents her with a magical bauble and some mince pies on Christmas Day, and Blanche is whisked away on an adventure with Rinky, where together they're about to rewrite the Santa story once and for all. Full of feminine twists and turns, this refreshing and uniquely told story turns what we know on its head by putting the spin that's very much needed into this super stocking filler. Thanks Bloomsbury for the finished coffee. Lastly is The Very Merry Murder Club, edited by Serena Patel and Robin Stevens, which is an anthology of wintry middle grade mystery short stories that brings together 13 of the most exciting, diverse and award winning authors in children's literature today, including Al McNichol, Benjamin Dean, Shana Jackson and more, and is illustrated by Harry Woodgate. Packed full of Christmassy crimes, wintry whodunits, festive foul play and murderous mysteries, there's a story for everyone in this selection that shows that anyone can be a hero no matter their background. Big thanks Farshaw for the gorgeous hardback gift copy. So these are the books I'm most excited about reading this Christmas. Let me know in the comments below which children's books you're looking forward to reading this Christmas, particularly from those featured in this video or any others you've got your eye on. As always, keep reading and I'll see you in the next video.